There are two main colour models used in design, RGB and CMYK, and it's important to know which to use and for what purpose. RGB stands for red, green and blue, and is used for anything that is to be displayed on a monitor or screen, such as websites or videos. The very same screen you are watching this video on is most likely made up of millions of pixels. Each pixel is broken down into three sub-pixels that are either red, green or blue. These sub-pixels are added in various combinations to make an array of different colours for the pixel. For instance, if the red and green sub-pixels are turned on all the way, the resulting pixel would be yellow. Or if the red pixel was dim and the blue pixel was on all the way, the resulting colour would be purple. All three sub-pixels added together create white, which is why RGB is known as the additive colour model. CMYK, on the other hand, is a subtractive colour model and creates white by subtracting colours. CMYK stands for Cyan, Magenta, Yellow and Key, which is black, and should be used for anything that is printed with ink. CMYK works by starting with a lighter page, usually white, and then layering each colour together until the final image is produced. This image is made up of tiny dots of either Cyan, Magenta, Yellow or black. The bigger the dot, the more that colour is represented, and the more colours that overlap, the darker the section of image will be. In addition to CMYK printing, you can also print with Pantone colours. These are specifically coloured inks and are a more accurate way of achieving a desired colour that CMYK cannot perfectly represent. Pantone colours can also include metallic inks that CMYK cannot produce. When designing for print, make sure you set up the artwork in CMYK and don't simply convert it later on. And also keep in mind that you are viewing the CMYK file on an RGB screen and the final product might vary from what your screen shows. For more information, visit us at expresscards.com.au. We also have a range of videos to help you understand the various aspects of print and design.